Now you know the rules. For each wrong answer, you must remove one piece of clothing. Gee, if I'd known the rules, I would have worn underwear. <laughs> When we first started out the show, the, the, the producer's idea, I think, was that it was, it was, it was more of like a Alan Pegg and then the neighbors, you know, Steve and Marcy, which was a, the original Steve played by David Garrison. And the kids were sort of this secondary thing that was going on because they didn't know, you know, none of us really knew how the characters were going to unfold. And uh, in the course of it, it they, you know, the people responded to the kids and the relationship between Kelly and Bud and... and, and and, the, and, their, and their parents. So they started to do a little less for, for, for the, the neighbors, which David Garrison, you know, originally coming into the series thinking he was one of the, you know, main characters, which he was, but I think he wanted it to be more about the, 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 the neighbors and Alan Pegg. So he ended up um, leaving the show uh, the third season, and I still think you can actually hit, hear him kicking himself uh, uh, over on uh, on Broadway and wherever he's doing his plays in, in New York. Cause he loves the theater, but you know he could have been on another show. He could have been on a hit show for seven more years, which I'm sure would have um, helped financially. But anyway, uh, so so our, our characters uh, sort of evolved and developed in that uh, I started to take on characteristics of Al and, and try to emulate uh, you know Ed O'Neill as much as I could, and they loved that. So they started writing more of you know Bud sort of becoming his father. Um, and then the relationship with Christina and I just really started to bud because we, uh, we started having, bar you know, barbs back and forth and that stuff really worked and, and, uh, I think that at one point they wrote, you know, that I called her a slut or whatever it was and, and then, you know, she was branded as that in the show, so they ran with that and, um, and, you know, he, he just became more and more the lovable loser who, you know, uh, people, they, they loved him but they could feel for him. I, I think he was a... When I go out in the streets and I, I meet people, he's the character that no one is, is, is uh, threatened by. And it's actually great because I get to go out and I meet so many cool people, um, even guys who are, you know, the toughest guys in the world who, who have a, you know, maybe would meet a celebrity and feel intimidated or whatever. They, they still love Bud. So, like, I, I, I meet nice people and great people everywhere I go because... I brought them laughter and they never felt threatened by that and they could all relate to sort of this lovable loser character. So it, it, it was great.